What's up, everyone, and welcome back to episode eight of the Road to SSL, the series where I show you how I rank up as a top 0.1% Rocket League coach. Look, I'm just going to let you check out the video in a second, but I did want to let you guys know to celebrate Hidden Grand Champ. As you'll see by the end of the video, we're very, very close now. I actually put together a free video training. I'm going to be releasing it over in my Discord on the top five ways to reach Grand Champ with zero mechanics. Basically, I put together a Spark Notes. I went through, I analyzed all the replays from the videos up until this point. And I think that video training is going to be super cool for you guys, especially if you're below Grand Champ and you're trying to work on getting there. So yeah, I'm going to be releasing that sometime next week. So if you want access to that, make sure you're subscribed and are a member of the Discord to be first notified when it goes live. So if you haven't yet, join my Discord. It'll be the first link down below. Otherwise, enjoy the video, guys. I think somebody said in stream we're currently 1228 mmr gonna be grinding against some champ twos and champ threes got a little toxic last time somebody in chat just said they were gonna snipe me so we'll see where this episode goes 1228 exactly so we're champ two div two hopefully by the end of this we can get up to maybe champ three div one we'll see all right we got game one playing with the season three gold tournament winner rg rays bro against Prince Bum and Cooper. All right, ball's going to come to left here. I'm just going to try to hit this off the wall, and that should give us a complete freebie. So this is something that you may have noticed me use before in the series, and when you know you have a foot race one, don't try to actually push the ball like forward. Just try to put it around the impotent. So I like I try to exaggerate my touch off the wall just to hit it away from him, and then I can clean up the, the follow-up. I think I'm allowed to speed flip, so I'm going to continue to speed flip. Not dominating the kickoffs. Gonna try to go for side boost, can't get it. But I'll flip back and look for a corner. He's gonna be taking my corner, so I'm gonna push up a bit. And uh, we should be all right here. Once again, just gonna follow these pads here. Pad, 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 watch touch, turn back. Nobody's there, so I'm gonna speed flip over. And just try to avoid demo and get the ball around him. That may bounce center. Might be able to get a demo as I move through. And I probably could've gone for that ball, but is what it is. I'm gonna stay up as much as I can here. Collect pads, wait for a center. Great center. Try to play low, but it doesn't work. That's fine. Half flip out. Notice I'm following pads, pads, pads. And I want to go, but realistically, when my teammate's up like this, it's, it's better to just stay back and wait. I'm going to let him toss. Great. Toss it into my corner. No threat at all. Just play behind my teammate. Play it high. I probably didn't need to play it out like that, but it'll work because Cooper is just back in their corner for no reason at all. Then... What just happened there? Oh, my teammate saves it? I'm so confused. I'm just going to wait back. What is going on? All right, we'll cheat up. Let's see. Ball goes back corner. I'm not going to be able to get corner boost in time, so I'll take this small pad and see if I can move center. He plays it out to me, which is nice. I see him pushed up a lot, so I'm going to hit it forward. Normally, I wouldn't hit it forward into him, but here I'm going to play low and stop on the low back post. That way I can get a... Is that just in? Okay, so the lesson here is that you want to you don't want to push for like notice how I kind of stopped before I got to the front post. That way the net was always in front of me and then the ball came down easy. Then I did a little bit of an arrow shot, but I should not have gone in. Okay. In any case, I'm going to cheat up. Uh it looks like he's first, so I'll just go back. Got to watch center here. Going to jump up. I'm using ball cam to track turning ball cam off to track where it is. That might be a little mechanical. Here, I'll just go for one touch. I could go for a double tap, but one touch is totally fine. Got a nice demo on one. Flip across the field. I think I have him beat here. So once again, just going to hit it off the wall. Use both jumps. I'm going to look for a demo on this guy because it looks like he's playing for a catch. And I'll play wide. Here, watch how I catch this ball and then go for my shot. Little mechanical. I didn't put it on net exactly how I wanted to, but... When a ball's awkward like that, just go for the catches. Usually, it's going to be the best play. Teammate puts it wide. I wish I could have helped, but I don't do the best job there. He hits it very hard off the back wall, which allows me to just get an easy touch out and another freaking breakaway. Oh, no. My camera died. Looks like we, uh, looks like we won this one. <laughs> what just happened? Did I... Was I just out? I, I don't understand. Just sitting in your corner and just like playing patient. Like people just overcommit so hard. I don't get it. 
I guess we're already div three. All right, we're playing as Hasbula and Old Meal. I'm gonna see if I can get the boost here. And then now that I'm in front of the play, I'm gonna use my jumps to try to hit it back into my corner, regain back here, and go for a little bit of an attack. Um, This is kind of sweaty, but I don't think it's that sweaty. So I'm just hitting it up. Once I see he's not pushed up too far, you push it, push it forward and then just clear away. I don't know. Am I, am I just being sweaty right now? I don't feel that, like that's too sweaty. The, the main thing there is just taking it back to your corner, and then people just overcommit, man. It's crazy, even at champ. Here, it looks like he still has it, so I'll play back. Once again, play off wall rather than anything else. I'll use my flip to get back. I'm going to try to get around my teammate as wide as I can. He'll play ball up here, so I'm just going to control it down to my corner. Hit it up wall. I'm just going to stay behind this in 50. I'm going to assume you don't have amazing mechanics. Just do that. If you have better mechanics, you can take it all the way. But once again, look, the ball's just rolling towards me. So I'll just hit it to the side, get it by one, and then force force the attack really quickly. Notice that once I um once I get the ball by one, I almost always just boom it immediately. And basically, once you do get the offensive, you just want to push you just want to push forward really quick because the odds of you know you getting a good 50-50, and it looks like nobody's going for this. They're really good. I'm going to use a half flip to get off the wall quicker there. That's probably too mechanical on the recoveries. But once again, ball's up. He has no angle to actually threaten a shot. So I'm just going to let him do his thing. Hit it up. Get a little flick. Almost leads to a goal. I'm going to take boost. Look to see where my teammate is. Dish it back to him. Now we get around. Now we got another 2v1. See what happens here. I'll play super aggro because we have a 2v1. And it'll lead to a goal. Normally, I wouldn't push up that far. But because we have a 2v1... You know, risk reward. Like they're not, they're not gonna get a really, really quick breakaway. So I'll just play super aggro and wait up there. Normally you don't want to do that, but you know your positioning changes based on how many are back. Cheat up. Ball's gonna come here. I can make one touch to the left, and then once I see him early challenging, I just don't even need to jump. Like I wanted to cut there, but then he's early challenging me, so I just like that's why bounce dribbles are so good. You just turn away, and then they just hit into the wall, and you get a free goal. Easier said than done, but. That's why bounce dribbles are so much better than flicks. Flip back, get boost. This is not really threatening. I accidentally hit that. I didn't mean to do that, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we're fine. Get a demo on one. Pop over one. And play back. Just going to watch boost here, pick up pads, see what he does. He plays it to the middle and go for a shot. Get their boosts. Turn back on the ball once we have their boost. Power side cut this way. And don't have enough time to get around him, but that's all right. Looks like should have a play here. He wants it. Okay, that's fine. We'll let him go. And just wait back here. They'll probably clear this. There's really no reason to push up. Like, yeah, it goes center, but there's no way I can predict that. I'm just going to play back. He's low boost here because he's been using all his boost to defend. So I can just let him do his thing. Teammate booms it into the corner, which will do nothing for us, but actually that that was a good touch. So that might do something. I'm going to go for a demo. Probably shouldn't do. Probably shouldn't boom it in the corner like that though. But I'm not I'm going to try not to be toxic. I feel bad. In the last episode like I was criticizing teammates too much. I should just play the game and shut up. Going to play this one off the wall. Looks like he's on backboard, so I'll turn back. I want to cut here. And I'm just kind of playing for low 50-50s. Not trying to commit too much. Keeping it slow in the corner. Don't want to overcommit as the, the first man up on the team, right? Going to play back here. No angle. So I'll hit it over here. Here, I'm... I hit it off the ceiling by accident. So just follow it again. Not using too much boost. Not overcommitting. No point in cross-map air dribbling when they're already waiting on their goal line, right? It's better to just wait back. Watch shot here. He's turning getting boost. So I'm going to hit up. Assume he's going. And go over here, take this boost. Watch his shot here. He's got nothing really. Just cover it. Using the neutral jumps to never hit the ball too far away while I'm on defense. And that allows me to just keep it close at all times. He might hit the center. Go for a cut, but aren't able to get it. Should be okay. I don't think he has an angle. Almost had an angle there. And that'll be a forfeit. <laughs> they probably should have scored, but... See, that's why I love playing defense against low-ranked players. Because, like, even though, like, 
it's probably not good there for me to be on defense. Like, it's obviously, like, against a better player, we get scored on. Against the worst player, they'll just mess up their shot so much that you just get free breakaways. All right, these guys are queued. So we're going to speed flip into it. Get a 50-50 into the corner. Watch him. He gets boost, so I'm going to go wide. I'll play back post. Keep collecting all these pads here. And now I can push up because it seems like we have control. He missed. I'll go back. Looks like he's out of gas. So I'm just going to let him let him do his thing. Control corner boost. And now we have a 2v1. Two, two, two so I want to kind of get upfield as quick as I possibly can here. Can't get the best shot, but um, it'll work. I'll go back for half here. And it looks like he probably has a boom here, but he makes his first touch too hard, which is why I play close enough to be able to jump on it. Ball's going to come center. Looks like he's still going. So I'm, once again, I'm just going to keep letting him hit. That's going to bounce high. Looks like he's missing. Get a good 50. That was almost bad. That was almost really bad. Gonna use a little bit of arrow to kind of pinch it in. I'll cheat up. Ball's gonna come high here. I, the read's kind of hard, so I'm just gonna go back. And since this is in the corner, I'm just gonna kind of play it to the side. Try, try not to let them have anything. Gonna get behind my teammate here because I'm low boost. Ball does come center. I'm gonna use both jumps to hit it out as much as I can with the little boost I have. And now I really gotta collect boost. Pad, pad, pad. He kind of gives it up. Gonna jump and then tilt forward a little bit to recover down. Play wide here. He hits it to the corner, so I'm gonna grab his corner boost and then turn back. Teammate gets a nice beat. I'm gonna control that half boost there, beat him in that little race. And now I think I have a shot on net. This is gonna go high. I'm gonna go back. Like, you'll notice if there's ever a read that I don't like, I just go back because I don't mind letting them go for the read. You know, I don't mind them letting letting them go for the, the tough reads. I, I don't think they're going to get it. Ball will come up here. It looks like he's going. Like, these touches just aren't productive for them. So I'll just keep controlling boost. Let our team get 1v2s. And then we'll be fine. Just going to get a bounce dribble. Get it into the air. And a little bit of an air dribble. But once again, the, the key there is just keeping the bounce. I'll turn back. My teammate's up. This ball's coming to our corner. So I'll just delay. There's n absolutely no rush. Like, if he wants to jump here, he can. And now we have another 2v1. If my teammate can be first. Hits it a little wide, which is fine. Here, I'm going to try to control this corner boost. It's not there. I'm just waiting center, kind of watching shot here. He hits it too far. Just control boost once again. Get a 50-50 on the wall because I am close enough to it. And we'll see here. It looks like he's going to clear this to the side. That's really high. Scary, so I'm just going to go far back. Cover shot. Shouldn't be too hard. Now, I see him here. I might be able to get a demo on him because he does look a little bit awkward. But weren't able to get it, but forced him off. I'll wait center. We got a 2v1 here. And I'm going to challenge, not because it's a good challenge, but just because, or not because I think I'm going to score, but I'm just challenging there because we have a 2v1 and I see my teammates recovered on the backboard, right? So worst comes to worst, we get a 50-50 there. It doesn't go in, right? But then my teammate is there. We have that 2v1. Camera is dead again, but that's okay. Here, I'll just shut off the camera and we'll, we'll do the rest of this without cam. Just focus on the gameplay. Wait, I'm doing a squishy. Oh my god. We're just going to turn off the webcam. And we're back. The webcam looks like it's overheating, folks. Hopefully, we just can study the gameplay. Nice wave dash, Luke. All right, moving back. Let them center. Just play goal line. And they, see, like, team, they'll just hit it into the corner, and these are just not good hits. So, just waiting back post. There's nothing I can really do while my teammate's up. So, I'll just chill here. Wait for the ball to come free to me. The little Tokyo drift around him. Is that a free goal? No. All right, ball's going to come here. I'll pop it high over one. And if I didn't get bumped, I could have followed. But it's what it is. Timmy looks like he's struggling, so I got to cover net here. It's going to get one touch to the side. Turn back. Try to cover boost. Cover, cover the angle. He'll hit it up to me. Teammate should have that, maybe. We'll be fine. Just playing back post once again. The ball comes close enough to the net that I'm going to want to tip it out. Use a little boost to get down at the end there. And I think just one of the biggest things that I'm noticing is just being able to collect, like, naturally collecting pads a lot on defense. Really, really valuable. That that stuff adds up. Looking for bumps when people are overcommitted. That's, or when people are separated too far from the play. That helps a lot. 
and that'll be another forfeit. I think I'm just playing too mechanical. I don't know. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. And like I said at the start of the video, if you want that free top five strats video that I'm going to be dropping on my Discord, definitely go join up. It's going to be the first link down below, completely free to join. But otherwise, make sure to follow my Twitch and Insta if you want to catch this stuff live and be the first notified because I don't have a stream schedule. And apart from that, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, peace.